Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a chatty one. I'm going to talk to you about the bag that I have been using for an entire week and what I think about it. And I'm also going to talk to you about my failure with my lower by year. And I think I may kind of redefine the rules that I've set for myself because of the situation I find myself in. So if you want to find out what my failure was, as well as see the bag that I'm loving right now, then stay tuned for the rest of this video. The bag that I'm still using after I moved in more than a week ago is the Paris 15 by Dress Up Your Purse. And I'm telling you, I love this bag so much. I'm totally getting another one in the next couple months. It has the gorgeous Togo leather, and I want you to pay attention to the front clasp. It has no protective stickers on it whatsoever. I should probably wipe off fingerprints. Let me do that real quick. I have opened and closed this clasp so many times, and I really can't see any scratches on it. I love the design where it has the metal kind of ruffled around where the clasp attaches, but it is literally so easy to attach the clasp. It just almost finds itself way easier than the pochette Matisse. And something else I wanted to tell you about this bag, it's $249. If you use my discount code, which is HBHW15, it's like $211. It is an insane deal. The pochette Matisse in leather is, it's approaching 3000 if it isn't already there, which is crazy. And this is more comfortable for me to carry. Now, if you do get this version, it comes with the shiny strap, the shiny leather. And I love the shiny leather on the bag. It's just like Louis Vuitton used to make their Ben leather. In fact, I can grab a piece of it to show you. The older style of the Louis Vuitton Damier Ben leather is shiny, just like the dress up your purse leather. But if you want a softer crossbody strap, I recommend getting one of the ones that doesn't have this kind of trim. I love this kind of trim. I think it looks amazing with my monogram strap. It looks amazing with the strap it came with. I just wanted to point that out. Like if you don't like the shiny leather, this is the only one I think that has that. And right now on the website, I think there are two options available to order. There's basically this color, which is solid, which would have the coordinating strap to match the color. And then also I think gray is available, but there's more to come. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys that I'm still using this bag, that I absolutely love it. It is very luxurious and I don't want to move out of it. I mean, look at my outfit today. I think it looks amazing with it. I got this top yesterday from a store called In Clover in Kansas City. I met Julie with Agent Bag Reviews. We had lunch and we did just a quick little shopping expedition for clothes primarily. And we each picked up like one or two things. And I really like this top. In Clover is a bright store and I will link the website down below. It's not affiliate or anything. And it's kind of like Lily Pulitzer on steroids. The colors are so bright. It is a bit pricey, but Julie and I beelined straight for the back because they had a really good sale selection. So definitely check them out online. So getting to me breaking my rules. My last video, which is my entire Mulberry collection video, I showed you every bag in the styles that I have that the outlet at Woodbury had in stock or has in stock. And so if you haven't caught that video and you're interested in picking up a mulberry, I will link it down below. But when I did that and I saw all the colors combined with the deals that they had, I was in trouble. And I kind of notated that in the mulberry collection video. My most recent mulberry edition is this gorgeous pale gray mini Alexa. And this made the sixth bag in my Mulberry collection. And I am one with my collections that I don't like having odd numbers. So six is a good number. I mean, I've got a gold hardware and a silver hardware in each style, the mini Alexa, the mini Bayswater, and the little softy. And I should be totally content and not want a single one more. 
but that is not the case because I got all these beautiful pictures from my sales associate and also the sale that they are running this weekend is quite insane and I just couldn't help myself. I did want to point out while I'm holding up this beauty that I have smoothed out the wrinkles almost entirely and it seems to hold even when I take the stuffing out. So just by stuffing it and leaving it, it has reshaped the bag. One of you asked me about reshaping a Cassie 19 that came with a little bit of a wavy front. For that type of situation, I have taken some like cardstock and either laminated it and like trimmed around the lamination or used packing tape to make that cardstock firmer and then put it in the front pocket, you know, cut it to fit. And then when you put your stuff inside, you put it on the side towards the inside of the bag so that that flat front keeps that bag front flat and it might not be something you always have to do but that helps also i find on like the cassie 19 anyway with the flat front i would put like two clays vertically in that front pocket to just keep it extra flat but i was super happy that this has smoothed out i think it looks great so you know that i got myself into trouble and the reason is because of the sale that the Mulberry Outlet at Woodbury is having this particular weekend. They always seem to have a sale, but it's usually 15% off of their prices. That's been my experience at least over the last few weeks. But this weekend, if you buy two or more items, you get 20% off. If you buy three or more items, you get 25% off. So I added two random iPhone X phone cases to my order, which were like $16 each so that I could get 25% off of a mulberry bag. And that bag is coming this week. I'll show you then. And I ordered that bag because I thought I was going to sell my coach camera bag, the black soft pebble camera bag to one of you lovely subscribers. You reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to sell it. And I thought, yes, I would. And so I put it together with the straps that I have for that bag. And I priced it at like $415. And that was not something that would work for the individual who asked me about it, which is totally fine. So I then posted it on Instagram, Facebook, and on my community page on YouTube. And I didn't get any bites. And I looked at it. I looked at my own pictures of it. I'm like, I can't do it. I cannot sell that bag. So I'm at the point where I can't sell a bag without feeling that gut feeling that I'm going to regret it. So how am I going to fund future bags if I want to add something besides my May bag, my August bag, and my December bag? Well, that's a tricky question. And that's where I get into talking about revising my rules. So my thought is, if I'm able to secure some money to comply with the two thirds rule, it doesn't necessarily have to be me selling a bag to get a bag. I could just use the money that I secured either by earning it with YouTube, with commissions from links, which I give you guys to purchase things through, or maybe another way. And another way might include something that I'm gonna to get to right now. I have been getting Botox in my forehead since my late 30s, and I love it. But I process Botox extremely fast, like two months, tops, and it's gone. And I tried a new product recently called Javo, and at like four or five weeks, I was already getting a lot of movement. And I was really disappointed because Javo is supposed to last longer than that. But my nurse injector, who is wonderful, she communicated with the sales rep and they made me into one of their model patients. And so I went to get Botox instead of Javo last Friday. And she told me that if I would try Javo again and the rep with Javo said, it's actually recommended you do it twice before you decide it doesn't work. I don't know if maybe having some residual Javo in your face and then getting it again is the reason or what the reason is. But she said a lot of people who weren't happy with it the first time became happy with it the second time. So here I was, I was there to get my Botox, which costs, you know, $450 or something. And I ended up not getting anything because I'm going to wait two or three weeks and do the Javo again. And it's going to be completely complimentary since I'm a model patient and since it was a fail for me the first time. 
and it was a fail, but it did give me coverage for about a month, which is not terrible. I mean, I should have got at least two months, but anyway, so I saved money and I thought with that saved money, I would use it to buy a mulberry bag from the sale. So it's not a bag for a bag. It's not selling something for my closet for a bag, but it is money that I would have spent that I don't have to spend. And I was able to get a screaming deal on the mulberry bag that I'm going to show you next week. So that is sort of my revision of terms. I don't know if you guys will approve or not, but these guidelines are something that I set for myself and I feel like that they should be a little bit flexible and money is money. And if I'm still conserving money in some way, somehow, and not going crazy, adding to this beautiful bag collection that I seem to have amassed, I think it is a win and a success in my books. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. is the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye. Mm -hmm.